Vietnam, the lessons from the road, travel lady. My name is Margaret Webster, and today I'm going to give you a tip about dealing with social anxiety. Uh, when I travel, I almost always travel solo, and uh, people are always telling me, Margaret, you're so brave for doing that, and I'm like, no, I'm not. Um, but I find that folks have a lot of anxiety, especially when it comes to traveling and interacting with other people that they don't know. And so I just want to talk a little bit about that. You know, interacting with people and having conversation is a skill just like anything else in life, right? So what I'd recommend is that you do a little practice. And I have some things that I've received over the years that have really kind of helped me out in um, trying to, you know, do icebreakers when doing conversations. So one of these I got recently, it's a table talk uh, set of cards. And you have these cards and they generate conversation, you have questions on them and you ask people and they're pretty cool. I really enjoy them. And then I also have an older set that I got way back in the day. Um, uh, also, same, same thing. You know, it helps to generate some talk and get to know people. And then recently, Chick-fil-A had a thing in their kids' meals that also had these little table talk cards that had some pretty cool stuff, even for adults. So I liked it, and my friends, I'm not a big fan of Chick-fil-A's politics, honestly, but um, love the cows and their marketing deal. Um, but this particular item, uh, was handed to me as somebody who had a, a very young child that couldn't utilize this, and I thought it was cool, so they gave it to me, so that was cool. Um, but what you can do is you can find certain questions, and you can Google this online and say, you know, oh, that's a good question to ask somebody. Um, I always like to ask questions like, what do you like to do in your spare time? Do you have any hobbies? And that gets people talking about things that they have passion for and that they love. And it's very exciting and it exchanges a lot of good energy. And so I recommend um, that one as a nice, a nice uh, question to lead into instead of what do you do for work? Because you know what? Most people don't really like their jobs that much. <laughs> so they don't really want to talk about it. Um, as, and you know, they're tired of doing work stuff, right? So they want to talk about what they love, you know? So ask them about, you know, definitely going out there and, um, you know, doing their hobbies, whatever those things may be. Something that excite them, excites them, gets them all excited. Um, so uh, I also included a couple links. Uh, to some good uh, websites that had information. What I recommend you to do is put this information or put some of these conversation breakers for you in your Evernote, and I use Color Note in some sort of notepad in your phone. And then when you're in a social situation, you're feeling a little, you know, odd and left out, you can just turn to the person to your right or left and say, hi, you know, my name is and uh, what do you like to do for hobbies, you know? And uh, you, you would be surprised. You would be surprised at the type of responses that you get and how excited people get. And, you know, that almost always lends to a wonderful conversation about it can take you anywhere. So, um, and you learn amazing things about people and what they love. So I highly recommend that. And um, again, if you extend your hand out and you can practice this in front of a mirror. Extend your hand out, smile, okay? And say, hi, my name is, nice to meet you. Okay, it's an easy thing to do. And remember that the person on the other side of that greeting is probably having the same social anxiety issues that you're having, okay? So a lot of people have that. It's almost like public speaking, right? People are really afraid of that. So, you know, be kind, you know, because they're probably waiting for somebody to talk to, too. So that's all I have on this tip, and I hope it gave you something to think about. And remember that life's a journey, and enjoy the ride, and we'll be talking to you. Thanks. Bye.